most zen music on. <laughs> Do you think I'm gonna cry? Probably. I'm like, it's so embarrassing if you were gonna think that like, this girl doesn't go anywhere. You're gonna ask? Okay. Hi, we're traveling together, okay. uh, but I'm not a citizen and he is. It's okay. We got an empty line over here, guys. Okay, so we're gonna. Yeah. Okay. I've read that uh, he has a good one. Thank you. There's no line. Oh my gosh. Okay, so straight to it. Okay. <laughs> Are you scared? It's gonna take you so long. <laughs> you did that on purpose? No, why do you think I did that on purpose? You crazy? You couldn't use your phone there. This guy asked to use the bathroom because I was like, oh, maybe I'll ask to use the bathroom so I could text Ryan. But this guy was like, oh, can I use the bathroom? And, and the security was like, do you have a phone? And she she took it from him so he could go use the bathroom. I was like, oh, D. But yeah, they just, it's like a room and people are just sitting down and you, you just have to wait till they call your name. But they were interrogating some people and bro, I was shit myself. Like they were asking this lady like the like so many questions like how much money is in your bank bank account, why were you here this long, and what does your husband do, and how does he get paid, and blah, blah blah blah. She asked me, the girl asked me like, oh this is literally the first thing she said. She was like, have you seen the judge? And I'm like, excuse me. She's like, yeah. Have you have you seen the judge already? I'm like, what judge? She's like, have you seen the judge like for your case? And I'm like, I have never had to go to court and see a judge. So she's like, you've always had DACA. And I'm like, I mean, I've had DACA since it came out. And she's like, oh, you have it since 2013? And I'm like, yes. She's like, so, oh, we have to go find our bags. They probably already moved them. So she was like, oh, so then what did you have before? And I was like, nothing. <laughs> I was like shitting bricks in there. I was like trying to stay calm and look cool like I know what I'm doing. And then she asked me like, where do you live? And then she was cool. She was like, oh, you live in the valley. Like I used to go to CSUN. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. She's cool. She, and then I saw her signing my passport and stamping it. And I was like, oh, Wait, thank the Lord. The form? Yeah, but she kept it. What do you mean she kept it? She kept the form. 
I don't know if that's what they're supposed to do. Well, she kept it. I don't know what to tell you. All right, anyways, we'll talk about this later because I, I, I'm a little, we gotta find our bags. Is this one right here? Is it? This is us. Editing this video, I felt like it was a little choppy and tried to film whatever I can. And I dream of the day that I get to go back again and that I can do it right this time where I'm not stressed, I'm not, you know, in fear and I'm not having all that anxiety thinking, oh my God, am I going to be able to go back in? I think for the most part, you know, they tell you you'll be fine because they only usually don't let you in or question you more if you have like a background or something like that. Um, like a criminal record is what I mean. So that wasn't my worry, but I think the experience in itself, it's a trigger and you really start to think about all the things that you've lived and all like how far you've come and, you know, and it just like kind of opens up that wound and it makes you think about those memories of you coming here, you struggling. And I think from my experience, I would say that from the disagreement you guys saw at the airport before I left, which was the video before this one, to, you know, getting questioned, not being able to use your phone for 45 minutes, which is what happened when I got back in um, US Customs. I spent about 45 minutes in that room with you're not able to use your phone. So you're not able to let your loved ones know that, you know, you're just waiting. And so obviously nothing was, I'm not, I wasn't being harmed or nothing crazy was happening. But at the same time, we all live in this fear. So obviously our loved ones are gonna be scared. Oh my God, why has it been this long and she's still there? So I would say like the whole experience was a little bit scary but I'm glad I did it and I feel really grateful that now I can move on to all the other steps that I need to take. And I'm just a little bit closer to getting my green card. And yeah, I feel like that's all I can say. I just feel really grateful. I feel really blessed. And you know, when I cry, it's not tears of pain anymore. It's just more of gratitude to see like how far I've made it and you know, where I'll go. And I'm just, I'm really happy to have Ryan, you know, with me. I know some of you didn't like, you know, how he kind of um, talks to me when that disagreement was happening at the airport. But honestly, there's just like no right way to do this because it is scary and you're under pressure and under anxiety and you're just stressed because it's something that should be so easy is not isn't and i will say that he just has always really supported me through all of this and he's been my backbone and my support and i am just really grateful to have him and i'm really grateful for all of you for following this journey and for watching these videos and all i want is for is for you guys to know that there are ways to just keep fighting the good fight for those that are still immigrants that are that are maybe under DACA or don't have anything, I know what it feels like to have absolutely nothing, to live in the shadows and, you know, to just feel like not wanted in a way. You feel like you don't belong in this place. And I know that that's hard because you ask yourself why, you know, and especially if you come when you're a child, you. You ask yourself, why am I not good enough to like be here? Why don't I deserve these same rights, you know? The good news is that good things are happening and we're getting closer and I'm really happy. And any time that I can share my journey, I will. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and subscribe to keep seeing my journey and not just that, just like other videos that I'll post. Um, yeah, I, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.